Hello everybody and welcome to Mr Powell's YouTube channel for computer science. What we're going to be looking at today is logic gates. We're going to be using this logic gate simulator. Now you can download this for free. The address is on your screen. Now we're going to be looking at some very very simple logic gates today and the simulator lets us see what's going on with those. Now we're going to start off with what really just amounts to a light switch. It's not really got any logic in it at all. So I'm going to drag on my light switch and there is my light bulb. Light switch, light bulb. And what we're going to do next is we're just going to drag just like oh, let's switch that on and off yep see nothing happens and let's drag across and now they're connected and when I switch on the light switch you can see the light bulb switches on switch it off the light bulb switches off that's not particularly interesting so what we're going to do is we're going to add in some logic so this is our first logic gate it's an AND gate and we're going to change the setup so that now we've got two light switches and only with both of them turned on do we want to have the light bulb turn on so there's one switch there's the AND gate there's the other switch and we just connect up the light bulb and you can see the light bulb is off I turn one on and you can see that line is kind of active there's a electricity flowing but there's no electricity flowing to the bulb so we can't see it if I turn the other one on you can see the bulb is still off but if I turn them both on then finally our bulb turns on so this is our first gate the AND gate it's very very simple to understand now we're going to have a look at another one and I'm just going to do that up here and this is the NOT gate. Now the NOT gate reverses the sense of whatever's coming into it. So we're going to put in just the simple circuit with one switch, a NOT gate, and then a light bulb. And we can see the light bulb is already on. That's because the switch is off. We turn the switch on, the light bulb is off. On, off, on, off. It does the opposite. It turns it upside down. Lastly, we're going to have a look at the OR gate. OR is kind of tricky. There's a couple of senses in OR, and I'll tell you about this while we're drawing it out. In the English language, if we're hiring somebody, we might say, we want you to have either GCSE English or GCSE History. Now, if you have both, that's not a problem to us. So it's what's called an inclusive OR. It could mean both. There's another kind of OR called an exclusive OR, which is what they say to you in a restaurant when they say, do you want peas or chips with that? They want you to have one or the other. They're not offering both. So this is the inclusive OR. So now we've drawn our little OR circuit. And you can see if I turn one on, the light bulb turns on straight away. So turn the other one on, the light bulb's still on. And it's only, in fact, if I turn both of them off that the light bulb turns off. I'll just show you, it's a compound gate, but I'll just show you the XOR. This is what it looks like, so you know the symbol. So this is when it's one thing or the other, but not both. Not both. Last thing I'm going to show you just get rid of that is what we can do is we can chain these logic gates together so we're going to take our old familiar AND gate and I'm going to put the NOT gate right in the middle Ooh, there we are and what this will do is it will reverse the sense of the AND gate so you can see both are off and the light bulb is on one is on, the light bulb is on. It's only when we switch both switches on that the light bulb turns off. This, of course, gets ever more complex. And we can chain thousands, millions, billions of these things together to make a modern computer. Thanks for watching.